Well, you may have heard about our next roaster in the news the last year. Did you hear about the dealership that gave away 12 cars, one for every month since the Razorbacks failed to win a conference game a couple years ago? Well, the rumor has it that tonight he'll be giving away 13, one for each roaster if we go over the allotted time of 9 p.m. <laughs> Please welcome Arkansas Business Hall of Famer Frank Fletcher, everybody. Yeah, David, you cost me 12 cars. <laughs> you know, he says, you want to stand out, you got to do something. Well, I've got a little prop here and a little help coming up. Um, you just hold on to it, Bill. <laughs> you know, you have to have an assistant. The governor has a staff. I've got an assistant. What I wanted to talk about tonight, and David, really, I want to talk to you. I hope your mom and dad will forgive me. I want to talk about my travels. Uh oh. There it went, David. <laughs> my travels with David Basil. And uh, we have been to some crazy places. We've been to a lot of casinos. We bought the couch that's in his house that had to be picked up by a crane to be put in his home. We've been to a lot of racetracks. We won a couple of races and we lost about 20. We've had a great time. One of the things that David always tells me when we get on the plane is, Frank, I'm on a diet. You realize I've lost 30 pounds in the last week? But David, you've lost four or 5,000 pounds since we've been traveling. I'm not gonna eat a thing. You eat whatever you want to. I'm not gonna eat a thing. We get to the hotel, we have stuff brought up to the room, and David cleans up the entire platter. I mean, David can eat like you've never seen that a man's on a diet. David, I want to tell him a couple of stories about our travels. Tommy Smith and I went to uh, Green Bay Packer game with David, and David met two sisters, and we had to tell him what the score was after the game. <laughs> He's still corresponding with those ladies. The next time Tommy and I went somewhere, we... Yeah, this is a picture, and notice where David's hand is. <laughs> yep, that was him. Next game we went to was Tampa Bay. It was about 115 degrees, and I took out some water and poured it on my face and on my head. David pulled his pants out and poured it down his pants. <laughs> he said he was cooler than I was. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep this up much longer, David. I've got one little thing to show y'all. If you've ever been out with David on a social event, it's his dress that you wanna watch or his blue jeans. Every time he's ever gone with me somewhere, I said, let's start showing this. <laughs> I've said, David, do you have to have that many holes in your blue jeans? And if you notice, he's even got a love button on the blue jeans. And this one has a sign on it. Baby. I'm David. So we're going to award this to you after tonight. All right. Thank you. Uh, seriously, I just want to say I don't think I've ever met a better friend I've ever laughed as much as I have with you. And I want you to know I love you like a brother I never had.